Learning Pix Insight is hard enough without having to worry about searching for processes in the menu and remembering what settings work for you within those processes. This video will show you how to create a set of processing icons where you've saved the settings that work for you, and then they're really easy to find sitting on your desktop, ready to go. Here we are inside Pix Insight. The screen's blank because I've just opened it up. This is how it's going to look for you whenever you first open up Pix Insight. There's going to be nothing there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a set of processing icons so that we can open them up and we can use them every time. And the best thing is that the processes that are in there will already have the settings that we want. So we don't need to remember them every time we open up a process. As an example, let me show you. If I open up Automatic Background Extractor that we've been using uh, in part one to create our first image, then the settings I asked us to change, the function degree and the correction, are at their default. So every time you need to remember to change this function degree to two and this correction to subtraction, which is going to be hard when we start putting in more and more processes. It's just more and more to remember. So by saving our processes with those uh, settings applied, it's one less thing to remember, one less thing to stress about. So how do we do that? Let's go to, let's open up the full process that we've used so far. We've used screen transfer function. We have used dynamic crop. We've used automatic background extractor, and we've used histogram transformation. So we'll start with screen transfer function first. All we're going to do to create our process icons is use this triangle symbol. And we just click and hold and drag it somewhere on the desktop. And then we can right click and choose set icon identifier. And I'm going to change it to STF. That's going to be the name of that process now. So I know it's my screen transfer function. And I can close my screen transfer function. Okay. Now I am going to do the same thing to automatic background extractor. But before I do that, I'm going to apply my settings. So I want that function degree to be two. And I want this correction to be subtraction. Now I can use that triangle to drag it onto the desktop. Right click, set icon identifier, and I'm going to call it ABE. Again, I can close automatic background extractor. My dynamic crop, I don't want to change anything. I just want to open it. It just saves me going to the menu basically. And I'm going to change its name to Dyn Crop. Now I had to put an underscore because the names do not like spaces in them. So Dyn, dyn underscore Crop. Just something descriptive so I know what it is. Again, the histogram, I don't want any settings applied to it at the moment. I just want to be able to open it. It saves me going to the menu. So I'm going to call it HT for histogram transformation. And I can close it. Okay, now see this yellow line? I like to put all my processing icons to the right hand side of that, out of the way. And then I can put my images on the left hand side and work with them from there. And I like to put my processing icons in order in the order that I'm going to use them. So STF, then I'm going to apply ABE, and then I'm going to crop, and then I'm going to apply the histogram transformation. Okay, so they're nicely aligned now, ready to go. Okay, and if I click on STF, it opens up the screen transfer function for me. If I click on ABE, it opens up ABE for me with my settings already applied, which is quite nice. Okay, so those are the four processes that we've used so far. And as we go through the remaining videos in Pix Insight for Beginners, we'll start adding to our processing icon set and we can keep saving it so that it's always there ready for us to go. How do I save it? So again, I just have to left click and drag over the top. See how they've all gone blue now? That means they're selected and I can right click 
choose save selected icons and you can see I've already got a heap of them here I've created a PixInsight icons directory so that I can save them all in the one spot and know where they are and I've already got quite a few set up I'm going to call this one example I'm just going to save over the top of that one you won't get this warning because you, you won't have one called example and that's it it's done to open those processing icons let me just uh, I'm just going to delete them because they, they already exist so again we've opened up PixInsight as if we've just started if we ever want to get back to our processing icons we just right click process icons load process icons and I'm going to choose my example set and then out and that they're in exactly the same spot that I had them last time again if I click on ABE it opens up with my settings already applied which is really nice I don't have to remember what all those settings are now that probably seemed like a lot of work when I could just go to the process menu and, and choose them from there but let me demonstrate to you why this is going to become more and more useful here's my current set this is the current set of processing icons I use all the time and there's a whole heap of them okay and I don't want to have to remember the settings in all of these different processes uh, I just want to be able to apply them sure sometimes I might need to adjust some of them a little bit but for the most part they're set up for me and I can just use them on images and away I go and that, I keep adding to this as I go through my processing and learn new techniques I start adding more process icons and then resave it and it's building up over time it means I don't have to go in and constantly type in settings they're already applied for me so it's a really powerful thing to be able to do and as we go through the remainder of this series we're going to keep adding to our current set of processing icons just a short video today but hopefully a powerful one saving those processing icons and being able to access them whenever you want with your settings already applied is going to be a time saver and a stress saver for you if this series is helping you and you're interested in more please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell of course if you really like these videos also consider giving them a like because it really helps thanks for watching